They say you never hear the bullet that kills you. In my line of work, it's fair to say that you wouldn't see the person with a gun either. Not if they knew what they were doing. Not if they were a true professional. It's business. You learn that very quickly. You learn to detach yourself. See, everyone is just a name and a face. There's an identity, but no personality. You don't think about what they've done or why they did it. You don't want to know about their wives or husbands or kids. You don't want to know what will happen once the contract has been fulfilled. You don't ask a single question that isn't specifically connected to the task at hand. How, when, where? That's all you need to know. And those are questions you ask and answer yourself. You start to ask why. And that's the beginning of the end. I've known a lot of people. I've killed most of them. That was a joke, by the way. But no, seriously. I've known people who thought they could do this. Well-trained, military background, exposure to conflict zones, no shortage of experience. But this is not war. This is something else. This is like nothing else you could possibly imagine. One job. One fucked up job and those people run for the hills. This takes a very particular type of individual. And without the slightest hint of ego or pride or aside from the very real pride that we all feel when we do something to the very highest standard, I can tell you that I am that type of individual. This is something I can do. This is something I have been doing for a very long time. It's possibly true to say that there's only one other person who could claim to be as professional, prepared, as conscientious, as thorough as me. But we'll get to that later. This isn't about luck. There's no such thing as luck. Luck is a myth. We believe in luck because we want to give ourselves an explanation for when things go wrong. We want to convince ourselves and everyone else that it had nothing to do with us, that we weren't responsible. Well, wolves don't kill unlucky sheep, do they? They kill the weak, the slow, the stupid, the unprepared. What's happening now isn't bad luck. What's happening now is happening simply because I let something slide. I was meticulous. I was exacting. I looked at every single contract I had fulfilled, went back through every tiny detail to see if there was something that could come back to bite me in the arse. I want it out, you see. Money was not an issue and hasn't been for a long time. Not a case of self-doubt or conscience or guilt or anything like that. This was my decision. This was the possibility of a new life, a fresh start, a sense that I could go somewhere and just live life. No pressure, no demands, no expectation, no limitation. No further need to keep one eye open, even when I slept. I believed I could do it. I really believed I could do it. I believed that I could get out clean and free and stay out for good. But I wasn't meticulous enough, you see. Maybe there was a little ego there, I don't know. And now it doesn't matter because it's all going to end. Karma. The most patient gangster of all, eh? Right. Oh, and that person, the only other person that could lay claim to be as smart, as thorough, as professional as me, that's who I'm with now. And they're the last person I will ever see. And you? Well, by the time you see this, I'll be gone. It's been a good life. And this? This will be quick, painless, the way I would have done it.